Hey guys! So, in light of recently being admitted into the University of Maryland and their music school, I thought I would talk about my audition. I feel like maybe it'll give people an idea who are auditioning for music school as a freshman uh, or maybe as a transfer like me. Of course, my experience won't be the same as everyone else's, but maybe I can give some people, you know, some insight into what it's like. So let me just start from the beginning. So, my audition was on January 24th, 2017 at 11.10 a.m. and that time will be a little bit important later. So, I drove up to the university with my mom early that morning and because I am the queen of overthinking myself into a nervous breakdown, on the entire car ride up I was a nervous wreck. Despite the fact that my teacher gave me a wonderful, wonderful pep talk the day before, he was telling me, you know, everything is going to be okay, I think this is going to go really well, I was sitting in the car thinking, oh my god, this is going to go completely wrong, I'm going to, I'm going to fail, like, try not to do that guys. I know it's easier said than done, but try not to. So when we finally pulled up to the Performing Arts building, I saw a bunch of people standing outside and I thought, oh my god, like there's so many people here. I don't stand a chance because there's gonna be so many great players here and I'm just, I'm done. I thought that there were so many people that there was actually a line forming outside the, of the building of all of the people who hadn't checked in yet. So when I actually got out of the car and walked up to all the people who were standing outside, someone told me, there's a fire drill and we all had to evacuate the building. What? That doesn't happen. That just, it's, it was just such a random thing to happen. So even in that moment, I still had this rush of calm come over me. I mean, I was still definitely nervous, but the fact that the scheduling was suddenly off and crazy like that just kind of put me at ease for some reason. What was really cool about that whole experience of being outside was that I met people that I knew from a youth orchestra that I was a part of two years before. I even had a chance to meet the three violin professors who were going to be hearing me that morning for my audition, which was super awesome because that really made me feel a lot better. They were super nice and I just got to just talk to them. So believe it or not, even though I was outside on a cold January morning, the fact that that fire drill happened kind of put me more at ease. So once we had been outside for about a half an hour, we finally got to go inside and then once we were inside, I checked in and then went to a practice room to go warm up. Because of the fire drill, everything was pushed back a lot later so I had more time to warm up since my audition wasn't at 11.10 anymore. So around 11.45, someone came to my practice room to come round me up and take me to the audition room. Oh my god. I took a deep breath, I picked up my instrument and my music, and I followed her right into the room. At this point, I was basically at peace with the work that I had done. You know, I worked really hard for months on this and just, I kind of, at this point, there's nothing you can do, you know, you're there to audition. And guys, that's really, really important because if you work hard for months, you'll leave your audition, you know, feeling pretty good about what you've done, about the work that you've done. So when I walked into the room, all three of the judges were sitting in front of me. I said hi and we basically got right to it. There was no interview or anything like that. He just asked me to play the concerto, and yeah, I got right to it. I forgot to mention, my pieces that I played were Violin Concerto Number no. 3 in G Major, and that was by Mozart, and Partita Number no. 3 by Bach, and I played the first movements of both of those pieces. He asked me to play my concerto, and I played about a page and a half of that, even though I had prepared more. And it's typical for the judges to stop you while you're playing because they felt like they've basically heard enough. But anyway, back to the concerto. When I was playing my concerto, I felt pretty solid. I don't remember anything specific because everything was just kind of a blur, but I felt really, I remember feeling really good about it. And then when I played my Bach, uh, <laughs> I don't remember anything crazy happening. I mean, that went well. I honestly don't really remember playing it that clearly. My mind just went on like autopilot mode, but uh, I don't remember anything wrong happening. I mean, maybe there were some little things here and there, but nothing really bad happened. I mean, I think it went pretty well. Again, everything was a blur. So I played about a page and a half of both of those pieces, and then I was done. That was it. There was no interview afterwards. They didn't really have any comments for me at all, and they just said, okay, you're done. Thank you. So I walked out of the room ultimately feeling really good. I mean, it's something I've worked on for months, and I felt good about the audition. I guess the judges liked it too, because I'm in now, which is great. But yeah, I'm really excited for a new musical environment. For those of you who don't know, I used to be at Towson University for music education. 
But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that and maybe I hope this has given some of you some insight if you're looking to audition for an undergrad program at a music school. Maybe some of you have already auditioned or are at a music school right now. So if you have any audition stories or maybe any advice that you want to leave in the comments, uh, feel free to do that. But yes, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.